Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and today's video is a bit of a PSA to stop using nipples to sex your rats. Now, I know this is a very strange sounding video, but one of my biggest pet peeves in the rat community that I constantly see is people telling new rat owners to determine the sex of their rats by looking for nipples. Oh my gosh, this is just, it's a terrible idea. Don't look for nipples to sex your rats. Oh my god, this video... <laughs> This video sounds crazy. Okay, the reason I'm saying this is because many female rats, like all of here, don't have obvious exposed nipples. This is because they have, well, fur. So you can't see those nipples unless you really, you know, manipulate and look for them. And they're there, clearly, but it's not easy to find them unless you wet down the rat. But anyways, as you can see there, it's not uncommon for female rats not to have readily exposed nipples. Now, some female rats, that's a different story. Uh, come on, come on, where is it? Okay, there you go. So you can see on Pickle here, they're very obvious, her little nip-nips. But that is just not the case for every single rat. And so I don't think it's a good idea to tell people to look for nipples in female rats because I've seen so many missexings in so many posts. And the reason that the rat was missexed is because the people were just looking for nipples. They saw no nipples and they were like, oh, this is a male rat, even though it was very clearly a female. I mean, in many of these cases, the rat had a very clear vaginal opening, which, by the way, if your rat is over five weeks old, look for this little hole right there. If they have this hole, they have two holes down here, you know, one hole under the urethra and one down here. This is the anus. This is the vaginal opening. If they have that vaginal opening, they are a female. Any female rat over five weeks old will have two holes. Two holes is a girl, one hole is a boy. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, this video sounds insane. But really, that's the easiest way to sex female rats because it's so clear. You can see the hole right there. And when they're in heat, it's often a grayish blue color and, you know, open more. But when they're not in heat, it's still very visible in female rats over about five weeks. And if your rats are under five weeks, what you wanna do is look for the distance between urethra and anus. So if the distance is short, like with omelet here, that's a girl. And if the distance is larger, like with marshmallow in this picture, that's a boy. Now you'll notice with Marshmallow here, he's actually a neutered male rat. And that's actually why I chose him for this picture because the fact that he's neutered means that he lacks any balls. And because he doesn't have his testicles, you can see that even without testicles, a male rat is very distinguishable from a female because they have a much larger distance between the urethra and anus. And of course they also lack that vaginal opening. And if you have a young rat, the easiest way to tell the difference between males and females is just to look for this distance. It's always going to be larger in males and shorter in females. And in addition to this, of course, most intact males, once they pass around three to four weeks, are going to have descended testicles. However, some are late bloomers, and this is why I mentioned the distance between urethra and anus, because that is a very easy way to tell uh, before a female rat has their vaginal opening unsealed and before a male rat drops their testicles. So if you are looking for a clear way to distinguish male rats from female rats, you either look for the vaginal opening, the testicles, or you just look for this little distance between urethra and anus, because again, it's always shorter in females and larger in males. So this has just been a little bit of a PSA to not sex your rats using nipples. I've seen way too many missexings because people just look for the nipples and that is not a clear way to distinguish rat sexes. So hopefully this video is helpful and uh, not too insane and all over the place. I just wanted to mention this because I've been seeing a lot of posts in the rat groups I'm part of where people have been telling other rat owners to look for nipples alone and it's just really a big pet peeve of mine now because that is just not a good way to sex rats. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully it was useful to someone out there. Uh, I know I named it a little bit strange, but uh, again, I hope this video can be helpful to someone who is trying to sex some rats. Bye!